introduce you to something extremely special and a particular quirk. You'll never believe this crazy thing that the German language does. What am I talking about? Trennbare Verben. Separable verbs. Many German verbs take a range of prefixes. Prefixes are extremely important in German and I am excited to introduce you to them. What's a prefix? It's a small word that can be added to another word and then is magically transformed to give that word a new meaning. So your prefix plus verb create a new verb. Here's an example. In the middle you see the verb common, to come. And I have arranged a bunch of prefixes around this word. All of them create are added to the front of the verb to create a new verb. So, clockwise, we've got auf, aufkommen, to come up with something, meaning to pay. Aus, to come out with something, to make do. Herum, to get around. Mit, to accompany. Nach, to follow, and an, to arrive. So as you can see, every prefix has got its own little meaning. For example, we've got mit, meaning with. You might already know a few of them, because they can stand by themselves. But when combined with a verb, the meaning of the prefix merges with the meaning of the verb to create these new meanings. Now, what am I talking about with all this separation? Sometimes what happens in a sentence is that the prefix separates from the stem as the verb changes, as it conjugates. So here are a few examples of what's happening there. Ankommen. Ich komme um 16 Uhr an. Mitkommen. Kommst du mit? Not all prefixes separate and there's a little list of those that don't ever separate and they are B, Emp, Ent, Er, G, Ver, Zer. Bekommen. Du bekommst eine Erkältung. Entkommen. Der Dieb entkommt der Polizei. So as you can see, those particular prefixes just stay the way they are. They're just verbs. To tell the difference, the easiest way to work this out is imagine that if there is stress on a prefix, it's going to crack under pressure and separate and hide at the end of the sentence. So what we're looking at is the pronunciation of your verb. When the first syllable is stressed, the prefix is stressed, it's a separable prefix. Non-separable prefixes aren't stressed, so there's no pressure on them and they don't break. But common has got its emphasis on the second syllable. Entfernen, versehen, all work in the same way. So remember this little list here, B, M, P, N, R, G, F, R, C, R, are never emphasized. Two little extra points. A verb will only separate when it's the only verb in a sentence. And if your sentence has a comma, that second half may count as a sentence. For example, Ich wasche heute Abend ab. I'm doing the washing up tonight. Ich möchte heute Abend abwaschen. I would like to do the washing up tonight. So in the first sentence, you've got the usual separation that you would expect. In the second sentence, möchte is another verb and it shows you that there isn't any separation going to happen. Now, if you're looking at a past tense, such as the perfect, ich habe heute Abend abgewaschen, again, there is no separation of the verb but the GE that shows you this is a past tense participle moves in between the prefix and the stem. Sie stellt den Spiegel auf. She erects the mirror. Sie soll das Spiel aufstellen. She is supposed to set up the game. Ich habe heute Abend aufgestellt. I set up tonight. And as always, remember, Übung macht den Meister. Practice makes perfect.